We decided we were going to have someone open our exhibition. We decided that we were going to share with all you lovely people what actually, how an exhibition eventuates, how it starts, how it works through. So, um, first of all, I'd probably like to say thank you to everyone coming along and supporting us. When you have a show, you usually find that by the time it's come, you've been running your little legs off and <laughs> the housework has been forgotten and nothing happens because you're just concentrating on trying to make sure you've got the work finished. So having an opening is always a lovely way, I guess, for the artist to say, oh, thank God we've got it finished and so <laughs> we, we can start to live again. So uh, yes, after today, we will all be um, kicking our heels and looking forward <laughs> to getting on with life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how did the five artists that are here get together to do this, put the show together? Where are the five artists? We come over here. Just in the kitchen. Luke, Luke <laughs> Beth, who yeah. is the painter. We have Catherine we have Orton. We have Sue Buckman. <laughs> And could everyone walk around the corner and have a look at Carrie? She's trying to avoid <laughs> everyone <laughs> today. She's hiding around there. She thinks she isn't having a say. So um, I've got to say that the inspiration was probably on the wall. This particular picture here was the inspiration for this show. Lily Beth had hooked in to have a show earlier in the year um, and due to few health reasons and having a fabulous trip being planned and she just felt as though she wasn't going to be able to get a, a body of work together for that opening. And I was particularly disappointed because I really loved this painting and I thought, oh, and I'll have a whole gallery for it. <laughs> you know? So um, we were all standing around this painting that was in another show. And there was uh, Karen and Sue and myself Looking at this painting and I said, um, well maybe if we can pick something out of the painting, we can actually make something, um, help Lily Beth out so she doesn't have to have a million pictures, she can kind of work in with a few other people. So as we're standing there in front of you having a little look, Karen, tucked around the corner there, getting her talk ready, <laughs> Karen looked at it and she said, I love the clothesline, I'm sure I can make a clothesline. <laughs> Sue, with the uh, green and star coloured plate over here, decided she would make the plate. And I made a shelf of um, all the different containers that are on, the, uh, on that little shelf. So basically, the picture spoke to all of us. And it's really kind of nice when one artist can inspire all of us to um, to do that. Where did Kathy Orton get into it? That's what I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't there at the time. <laughs> but we knew that Kathy is a fabulous artist doing beautiful architectural drawings, buildings, um, that's prints. Um, it's one of the basis of your work, isn't it? And we were looking at Lily Beth's lovely red roofed houses over there. Kathy would probably make some fabulous um, little houses, you know, from what she was doing, or we all just picked what we wanted to do, how we wanted to do it. So everything that you see on the plinths, including the cushion over there that um, Lily Beth has taken her own picture and painted and embroidered. Um, everything that you see has been extracted somehow from, you know, from a picture. Um, so probably from the beginning of the exhibition, um, Lily Beth's painting, we have to say, was, was the spark that got us all going. For me personally, I actually really enjoyed getting back into my studio after a, a fairly big um, break. It was lovely being down there and working away. Um, it did help me face the fact that my throwing days are 
probably going to be very limited because of uh, more health reasons, getting old, everything clapping out, you know, <laughs> as it is. Um, and I actually um, loved, I made the swimming hats there. They were going to just be kind of fairly simple ones, and as I went along doing them, I was just having so much fun, you know. I started having a little research and which hats do I like? So it kind of started off with one out of the picture of the swimmers and then turned into party. <laughs> <laughs> and they are wearable. <laughs> <laughs> they all have a different name. As I work to my work, little names come into my head. And I particularly like the little purple ones with novels on it. I have a new kitten that is sick of hearing me talk to it. And it likes these, those little fluffy balls to I throw them around the house and it charges around and carries it around and does everything anyway. It came down the back and found my hat with the novels sitting on the table oh. and it's there trying to pull, <laughs> pull the novels off so I called that one Molly's novels. <laughs> so each little piece has got some kind of significance in the making of, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I've got to say that I really enjoyed that zone I was in working with, um, hey, other artists that I enjoyed to share with. Um, I loved being able to look at all of Lily Beth's paintings and, um, yeah, I was back on the road to be So now we're going to let each of the other artists just say one or two words about their work. We don't want to do one keep standing for too long, but just so that you can get a sense of where an exhibition actually comes from. Know, where it comes from. So, um, Sue, if you'd like to come and have a little Sue's the glass artist, um, plates, paper out here and one over there. When somebody comes up with a really good idea <laughs> and you just go, oh, of course I'd love to have a go at something like that. <laughs> and when you have a lovely painting like that, you go, Oh, of course, yeah, that's easy. And when I saw the little plate there, now I went, yes, I can do that. But when it came to the others, <laughs> and we went up to Lily Beth's one afternoon and had a look at what she had chosen to put in, yeah, some things just jumped out at you because I like, I do ceramics, but I do like glass. But the glass here was the colour that went with really best lovely paintings and it was a bit of fun to try and sit there and use your imagination mm -hmm. to you can take something and try to reproduce or just do something a little bit different and that's what I enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> well I'd like said I'm, I'm interested in architecture and I've been working with that theme for quite a while. Um, so I've well, I've visited some places in Europe that look a bit like Chesky Krumbo, which I thought was lovely. So I, um, I reworked some pieces that I had made already and made a little hilltop town over there that I think might be a lovely thing for kids to play with. You know, it's like blocks, really, but <laughs> you can move them around sometimes. <laughs> and I painted a lot of red roofs, really, to go with Lily Beth's red roofs. <laughs> and trees. I love trees. That's why they're so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have Karen over here, who's very sure. reluctant. She's very reluctant, <laughs> but she's going to come up with something. She's going to need extra encouragement, guys. <laughs> I love painting people. Um, I love fine detail. I've done that for a lot of years. Uh, and uh, I just love the little ladies in her swimming painting and her hen's party painting. And, and I had a lovely time fiddling and twiddling and, you know, doing all sorts of things, not just painting, making earrings, um, you know. And the clothesline, well, that, that's the Mark II model. 
the other one's <laughs> in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my backyard's missing a plot of grass. <laughs> so um, I have a lot of fun. Uh, it's taken me weeks. I've just given up everything else to just fiddle. So I, I've enjoyed it. Um, and I love you again. So it's been wonderful. Mm. Mm. And to finish off our show, a lady who inspired us all. Well, I don't know what to say, but I can thank these ladies for their contribution. And Karen, of course, has done the people round there from the hens party and the people in the speedos over here. It's a very woman focused um, exhibition in some ways, but then I do have some landscapes and other bits and pieces. When I went to Chesky Krumlov in 2010, and then I went back in 2015, and this year I had an opportunity to go there again, but I went to Salzburg instead. Um, I was impressed by Chesky Krumlov in the Czech Republic because it's where Egon Schiel himself did so many wonderful paintings as part of that clipped Schiel group of people. And there's a gallery in Chesky Grimlov with Egon Schiel's paintings in it. And uh, I was impressed because it seems to float in the air above the river as there's no defining boundaries. I have done uh, 15 paintings of Chesky Grimlov and they have all sold. So for this exhibition, I tried again to capture that and um, the beautiful little village underneath goes so well with it. Other paintings that I've done for here, I only want to talk about one because it seems very obscure to people. The others are self-explanatory. I'm going through a collage stage. Some of them are just watercolours with no collage, but at the moment I'm collaging. This one here, um, people don't seem to really understand it, but it was about to go in the Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras competition because it had an Ari Kelly theme, but it was the wrong size. And so it is the great designer from Hayama. There he is as a little boy with his Australian flag. There he is with Tony Curtis putting on clothes. And they're all the designs of all the clothes that he made for various movies. So it's called Ori Kelly, I Am A Boy Makes Good. And I just wanted to explain it to you because you'd say, what the, is that? <laughs> there's Marilyn Monroe, there's Jack Lemmon, there's, um, this is from Casablanca, and picked up, and the three girls from one other film, Shirley MacLaine, uh, Singing In The Rain, I think that one, and I've, I've tried to put it all together. So it does look very obscure, but that's what it's about. And um, as for the other paintings, they're all part of my travels or my, uh, the Wollongong paintings, I've done a million of those. And they, not a million, I am very prone to exaggeration. I've done quite a few and I have a few commissions for them. And the idea is to show Wollongong you know, as a kind of um, Richard Scarry, who did those children's books with all those things happening in it, like everything that's happening with some of the buildings. So, yes, so what inspires me? Anything. You know, <laughs> the escarpment in particular, little villages like Farrell, etc., people, as Karen said, that one over there is called. Um, the day before the picnic at Hanging Rock, and that was painted for the women's exhibition at Marugal, but it didn't even get accepted. So I've, I've framed it and put it here, you know. So it's a old-fashioned girls having a cup of tea. Next to it, of course, is new-fashioned girls drinking champagne. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you for coming. Thank you, everybody, for your support. And I'm very humbled by everyone here, also humbled by the fact that um, these ladies who are great creative spirits have chosen to exhibit with me. Thank you. Thank you.